Hey, get back here. Today I got all the Team of the Week cards, uh, at least the top three that we're going to get some gameplay of here. Here's Golf Stats. Not a bad little card. He just got an upgrade a few weeks ago. I got that card on my team. Here's the 93 compared to the 92 Vic. Uh, 92 throw power. Short, good, medium, medium, and deep or good accuracy under the pressure. It's 81. As we know with the Wentz and even this card, under pressure, I don't believe in it as much as... Uh, really a lot of other people do this year. Here's Aaron Jones's card, and we'll talk more about these cards as the gameplay progresses. 89 speed. The break tackle's 80. 80. Terrible. Uh, 88 trucking. So basically, he's got a lot of speed um, and some trucking. Acceleration agility's nice too. Uh, but uh, Woodyard here, oddly familiar to the Bobby Bell I reviewed yesterday. Basically, Woodyard stats with the 84 speed, 78 zone coverage. But he's got a good block shed, uh, tackle hit power. He's he's like six foot, um, so he's like a, a run stopping three four middle linebacker. Uh, but here here's the roster. We'll talk more about each of the cards as we go along with the gameplay. Goff and uh, Aaron there at the uh, quarterback running back spot along with the rest of the roster on defense. Woodyard's going to be leading up in the middle of this team. So back back to Woodyard. So like because with his with his height and zone coverage, you can't really. I don't know. Do you like zone up until like 90? I, I don't know. That's what they said the threshold, but I really haven't tested much of it. I don't know uh, what breaks well because it's still like a chance of break. So even at 78 to 90, it's like it's a chance of getting better. And even at 90, it's still only like a, a slight chance of breaking correctly, if I recall correctly. If Well, I know I recall correctly, but it's still like, I don't know. It, it's still, I, I hate the random generator or random number generator that determines it. All right, let's talk about offense. Aaron Jones, ah, he can spin, all right? He's got the spin threshold, nice, juke, nice, everything nice, but like, does he stand out? Is he worth getting? No, especially with double XP and everybody should be getting to level 60 soon. Why waste 200,000 coins on a running back when Ricky Williams is superior? Maybe as like a, a guy when Ricky gets fatigued. If you're a big Packers fan, Packers theme team, I think this is great. Uh, just add three speed onto him if you can get him up there, otherwise add two. Uh, he's offside, so he's pass rush aggressive, but it don't matter. We stay in the pocket against pressure right in the face. He tried to jump and knock it down, but it was a delivered dot there with Mr. Goff. So, quarterback off. I can see more uh, reason to get him than the other two. I mean, he is the hero, so he's a little bit better uh, than the other two, obviously. So, like, the, the good throw power, medium, short, deep. Yeah, Rams fan, grab this card. I don't think you're going to regret it. I didn't have a problem making any passes with him in the, in the limited experience I got. I Obviously, I, didn't, I couldn't use these cards as much as I normally do. I would do, like, player reviews if I use them a lot. Uh, but... Overall, like, he's he's got sneaky fast speed. 78's pretty good. You know, it's not like, you know, mid-80s like a lot of the better cor scrambling quarterbacks have. But 78, you can get out of the pocket. You can move a little bit. I do like that. I think that's a, a, a very, like, a, like an Aaron Rodgers type quarterback. But uh, overall, yeah, get yourself a golf if you want him. 400K. Not terrible for his throwing stats. Look at this on the run. Whoop! <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. But I was feeling lucky this game because, you know, it seems like whenever I get luck, I just get a whole lot of it. So high point passes on target. Um, yeah, what, what, what else say about Goff? He he's pretty much plays like a stats and the throwing under pressure didn't really rear its ugly face too much. Uh, yeah, here's here's a little bit of late up. Uh, so sorry, I should I should mention I switched play I'm switching playbooks lately. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to move to right after finishing the run heavy. Woodyard with the pick, the sneak pick lurked underneath him. Um, nice pick six there, good on the return. So I'm I'm messing with my offensive playbook. So my offense isn't really like developed here. Um, I think actually this actually game might be in the run heavy if I recall correctly now. Uh, so this one is in the red heavy, but I'm fucking around with different formations in it, just just gonna have fun because this weekly league qualifications this isn't like a serious gameplay. Uh, this is kind of like running around trying to make plays, not doing anything too crazy with like blitzes or anything. And uh, you can tell the level of competition weekly league qualifications not the highest, but it is the most fun you'll have playing a game uh, all week. These qualifiers, it's kind of like a casual mode. I wish there was a casual mode in this game. Regardless, back to the cards. Uh, the Aaron Jones and the Woodyard. I think the Woodyard is respectable as a middle linebacker too. If you use your shads, let him just in the three four, and then like the nickel, you would have somebody that like a safety there, like a backup safety to be in your nickel spot. Nice little dot there from Goff again. Um, so he's fine if you expect to run. Good, good middle linebacker to stop that run, but otherwise you can't trust him really that much in coverage without the the higher speed and the better zone coverage or the height that you really uh, that, that I find nicer to have. Uh, so here's draw Jones, and we get to cross that threshold of the goal line. So he does he hit that threshold at least. So, but did I like the way Aaron Jones felt on the stick? Yeah, I think I think he felt fine. Um, he didn't like you know wow me in his usage. And look at that when I said it rains it pours, it really rains it pours. Like you're doing well, and all of a sudden you just get these fumbles randomly. Like didn't even go for a fumble. Uh, there's golf outside the pocket. Dots on the hands, perfect leading him. 
yeah, I, I highly recommend Goff. I like him a lot. I think he's very similar to that uh, Wentz that I reviewed. Uh, Woodyard, nice little pick again. What's that? Third? Oh, two interceptions already? Yeah, that's only two. Oh, sorry, I got one with another person. Um, so nice little user pick there. So Woodyard, as much as I say, he's like not good in coverage, just dominates there. Overall, ranking them, I think they are what they are. Nothing really impressed me or surprised me about the cards other than Goff, I think, is a top end quarterback. I think he's probably bordering on the number five range for me for best quarterbacks in the game. Um, but otherwise, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on Team of the Week. Um, I've already given, like, Team of the Week itself, the program, a little less exciting. There aren't many budget cards coming out of it. Uh, but uh, that's a whole other video. Talk to you guys later.